Hey, what is up my ninjas? It's Dark Frog Ninja. I, I know it's been a while, but here I am with an update video. A lot of stuff to go over today, so let's get right to it. First, let's start with the mints. As you can see, they're still in their biopod. Things have changed. Um, as you can see, I did a lot of trimming. This uh, Korean rock fern here grew very large and out of control. All the fronds were pressing up against the top, so that was creating some issues. So what I did was a few, probably a few weeks ago, I decided to trim it and pretty much cut out all of the fronds. And here we are. It's starting to grow back. Um, I'm gonna have to control it a little bit better, but you know, we'll see what happens. Let's get this opened up. All right, so we're opened up. As you can see, like I said, it's growing good. The dragon tail fern still doing well. Um, it's grown pretty pretty good over the past couple months. It's been what six months, guys, since I have last done an update video, and I apologize for it. A lot of stuff has been going on, but like I said, we will get into that later. Uh, the bromeliad here is doing well, still alive, getting bigger. It was choked out by the sunlight, so it was just kind of there. But uh, ever since I trimmed it back, it's doing better. The bird's nest fern is looking really, really good. Surprisingly, it's gone crazy, and it's uh, shooting out its fronds uh, pretty aggressively now, so it's it's pretty cool. They like climbing in it, and they actually like sleeping on it. It actually supports their weight, which is pretty neat, because these uh, leaves are quite rigid, so it uh, feels like thick lettuce, so they actually sit on these. It's pretty, pretty neat. The vines in the back are doing great. It actually, these overtook a lot of stuff. As you can see, there was a bromeliad there. It put out a pup, but the uh, bromeliad, I don't, it's covered up. I could, it's hard to get to, and you can't see it anymore. But I did remove the pup, so there we go. Uh, I cut back a lot of the vineage here. The creeping fig was just overtaking a lot of stuff, and that was that. Now let's get to the good stuff. Let's go down to the forest floor. Here we have the mints. These two are the two or newer additions that I've had for about a, uh, I'd say over a year now. They're doing well. Again, I believe they're both males. Um, I've seen them both calling, so I would assume both males. Constantine, chilling out down there. And big old Zed in the back. No eggs, nothing like that to report. Um, it just really probably something I'm doing but I'm not really looking into breeding them so that's that's the thing I probably they'll probably you know if they breed they breed but I'm not trying to induce anything like that I let them do their own their own thing they're fun to watch they eat they're always hungry they're always inquisitive um, here is their little pool I put a, a lot of java moss in that and it grows it grew into a mat now and it soaks up the water so I have to fill this up every few days but it's pretty neat. But they're doing good. Otherwise, the biopod itself still issues with it. Um, the fan gets really loud. I've contacted biopod. I sent them videos. They tried to say it's the pump that it was airlocked, and I've gone and I've uh, drained it and made ran water through it, and there's nothing there. Um, it went through. Everything's fine. Still the fan because the front glass fogs up like crazy. Like it gets. A lot of condensation on it even when I now it's because I know it's because of these the leaves are up against the glass but um, before I cut everything away and it would still fog up like crazy so um, and then there's water if you can see there's a water level is right here and, and here's where the substrate starts so there's definitely more than two inches of water underneath there for the pump to go and the pumps running fine right now so it's not loud um, but uh, and then one other issue <laughs> major issue I think with this thing let's close this back up because we're done in there is one of the pumps right here if you can see that black part see that uh, tubing that's connected to the misting system now this one decided to leak 
all of a sudden cracks all on, in, along the pipeline. As you can see, that black uh, and some of the chunkier stuff on it, that is actually silicone. And I'm trying to patch it. And today is a, a test. I've let it sit for 48 hours. So today's a test. We'll see if it worked. Hopefully it does. And of course, it's aquarium safe silicone. It won't harm the frogs or anything like that. So I haven't been on the mist for a couple, couple of weeks because I've been trying to patch it. But we'll see what happens today. Hopefully I'll have good news and maybe I'll comment in the comment section below. But the biopod itself, um, like I said, it's something, this backer biopod is something I almost regret buying. I wish I would have stuck with Exoterra and then I would have had full, full control over that stuff. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, but they're doing well, all happy and healthy. And there's a good shot of Miss Zed right there turned around. Alright, now let's get to these guys, the Kotaris. Their tank has gone through some changes. Quite a lot of changes. Um, basically, the background in this, it has, uh, yeah, it hasn't, uh, it, it kind of died out. The figs, just uh, the creeping fig just kind of decided to branch out instead of growing on the background and everything turned brown. So right now, it's it's okay looking. The bromeliads, both died. One shot off a pup, which you can see here, and then the other one had. There's another little pup right there, and I know I cut it too soon, but I placed it in here. Hopefully, it'll grow. We'll see what happens. Um, bromeliads for them really aren't that necessary. The moss and everything is doing good. A lot of the plant growth here, as you can see, this plant is kind of taken over. My button fern has kind of just disappeared, right there. Um, the bromeliad over there is doing well still. And then you can see all the creeping fig is just going everywhere. And you can see why they call it creeping fig. And then there is a cool little mushroom dealy right here. Which means my soil is doing well. So. And then there's these guys. My trio. They are still doing well. Um, let's get a good view of them. I have to be careful because they will jump out. They haven't yet. But they have no real fear. And they don't really know. They always think I'm feeding them every time I open this up. So. Uh, i got to be careful here. They're already ready. It's it's Wednesday. It's feeding day. So I believe I have two males and a female. This big one right here would be the female. And then I believe this one and this one, big spot as I like to call them. And then the other, the other one are males. So pretty cool. Now I'm going to open this side because they're over here. But uh, they're doing well. I also filled their water dish up with sphagnum moss. I'm going to replace it with java moss. I was, for the, for the longest time, some, uh, a fly got in here, and I, uh, it's, I don't know what kind of fly, but it bred in the java moss, and it was creating little worms, and I wasn't sure what they were, so I eliminated it and got rid of the java moss, just in case they're parasitic. That was a while ago, um, so I'm going to retry it. I, I found out what they were. It's some kind of, a uh, harmless fly, so the larva would have been actually something they could have eaten, which I didn't know at the time. So yeah, that's that's it. These guys are doing well. They're growing. They eat a lot. They don't. Uh, they want to be fed every day. I don't feed every day. I feed like every other day. But uh, they're getting to adult size. So this summer, I'm, I'm hoping we'll see what happens if we get any calling action going on, and uh, that they can stay a trio as they get continue to get older. See, look at his feet. I love the feet. The feet are like that sky blue. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So, so that's about it for the update. Um, I will talk about why it took me long, so long to do a video. Basically, a lot of stuff was going on in my personal life. I, for one, uh, graduated college, so that took up a lot of my time. I know you guys probably didn't even know I was going to college, but I was, and I graduated uh, in, back in May. And then I also applied and got accepted to Oregon State University to continue my education and I am going to be getting a degree in fisheries and wildlife sciences to become a wildlife biologist. So, you guys have probably noticed by now that the channel name has changed, uh, Dark Frog Ninja. It's no longer Dark Frog Ninja. My channel name has changed to Wildlife the Wildlife Ninja. I should say because there was already a Wildlife Ninja. I figured I'll just go THE Wildlife Ninja. Kind of like THE Ohio State University. So we'll go with... I was going to go with that. 
So uh, I'm there. I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos, but it's not going to be our dart frog related stuff, guys. What I'm going to be doing is going to be a lot of uh, wildlife videos. There's going to be a lot of uh, hiking involved, and I'm going to shoot video while I'm out there. I'm going to go over wildlife and things I, I found. It's going to be more of a informational channel, so it ought to be fun. I'm going to put out some fun videos. I'm going to put some humor, of course, into it. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to try and get a video out here coming soon from a walk, and then uh, I'll have definitely some more coming up this fall, some really cool ones. Might even have uh, a snorkeling underwater one, which will be really cool to see in the ocean, so that'll be that'll be neat. But uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing that, and that's going to be my focus. So Dart Frog Ninja is no more. I'm sorry guys, Dart Frog Ninja, I felt like I had no more, nothing to give as far as Dart Frog videos went. I feel like I touched base on basically everything I wanted to touch base on. So I won't be doing any more dart discussions or anything like that. There will be occasional dart frog videos that I'll put on my channel just because this is a part of my hobby and I still enjoy enjoy them. And I'll share some videos every now and then, but it's not going to be a dart frog central cent, uh, a dart frog channel anymore. It's going to be a wildlife channel. And we're going to focus on wildlife. So I'm excited to go over it because that's my that's my future. Uh, I've always wanted to be a herpetologist when I was a kid three things I wanted to be was an actor, a comedian, and herpetologist. And, uh, you know, not very many kids would say herpetologist when they're seven, eight years old, but that's what I wanted to do. And uh, that's what I'm going to pursue. Now the opportunity is there for me, and I'm going to take it. So I'm really excited, and these guys are, are excited because they want to eat, and I'm going to feed them here soon. But uh, stick around, guys. Definitely, like I said, videos are going to be fun, informative, we're gonna, you're gonna see some wildlife. We're gonna have some so a good time, and then we're going to. Uh, you'll also see some dart frogs every now and then on my channel as well. But uh, I will keep my Facebook group to Dart Frog Ninja. So if anything different, if I decide I want to film real quick with my camera, I will uh, with my iPhone and put a little quick video on. I will with my dart frogs, but um, Dart Frog Ninja Facebook page will stay open. Uh, my Instagram is now changed to Wildlife Ninja. I'll still post pictures of dart frogs on there too, but um, Instagram has changed to Wildlife Ninja. It's going to be more mostly wildlife stuff. So there you go, guys. That's it. So went for one final time. This is Dart Frog Ninja saying, "Frog on."